If I wear the same socks for a week straight, will my feet smell like roses? Or will they be smellier than a can of anchovies? Well, if you get smelly, you're onto something. I'll probably stink everyone out in a 10-foot radius. <laughs> Let's learn probability for first graders. Let's look at Legos first. What are the chances that we'll get a gray Lego piece from this drawer? Let's find out. Now, if I draw one of these at random, that means if I don't look and I just pick one up, Am I gonna get a gray? Ah, I got a gray Lego. Okay, let me try it again. I'm gonna pick up a random Lego. I'm not gonna look. Hey, it's gray. I got a gray Lego. Let me grab another one. It's gray. Oh, that's great. Okay, let me try to get another one. Orange. I picked up an orange Lego. So you can see that I'm more likely going to get a gray Lego here just because there are more of them than I am to get, say, this orange Lego. There's only one of those guys, but there are lots of the gray Legos, so I'm more likely to get a gray Lego, since there are more, and I am less likely to get a orange Lego. An orange Lego, excuse me. Okay, now we have a couple of different colors. Let's see, what are the chances? Is it pretty good? Is it not so good if we're gonna get a gray Lego? Am I more likely to draw a gray Lego here or a different color Lego piece? Let me grab one at random. Hey, it's red, okay. Let me try again. It's gonna be something different now. Let me draw a different Lego, it's gray. Hey, okay, I drew a gray Lego. Let me try again. Orange. All right, let me do it again. Am I more likely to draw a gray? Gray, gray Lego. Am I more likely to draw a gray Lego or a different colored Lego? Gray. There are so many gray Legos here. I'm more likely to get a gray Lego when I grab one without looking than I am to get a colored Lego like the orange or in this case, the green or the red Lego, I am more likely to get a gray Lego here. Be sure to subscribe, watch full length episodes below, and God bless. This is a die. These are dice. Let's lurk with, let lurk, let's work with one die. It has the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. It has six numbers on it. I'm gonna roll a die and see what we get. Are we likely to get a number smaller than six if we roll the die? There's a one, that's smaller than six. There's a four, that's smaller than six. This one ran away. It's a two, that's smaller than six. There's another four, that's smaller than six. There's a three, that's smaller than six. I think you're seeing the pattern here. We are less likely to get a six. We are more likely to get a number that's smaller than six, like one, two, three, four, or five but sometimes we will get a six. Most of the time, we'll get a number smaller than six. One, four, smaller than six, five, smaller than six. Welcome to the bonus section. Are you likely to get a number bigger than six if you roll a die? Remember, a die 